All right, people, Catfish Dave here. I took me a couple week break, and uh, I needed it. Sat around and played guitar for a while. So here we are back on the river. And uh, I haven't been on this river, in this part of the river, in a long time. I've been riding around forever looking for fish. Water temp's 48 degrees. All I've got is skipjack, and I would rather have gizzard shad. I went out for gizzard shad, took my boat. Down to the river, it was too windy. There was no way I'd throw a net in that wind. So I banked fish and got skipjack. Now it's not impossible for them to hit skipjack, but I usually do way better on shad when the water is down in the 40s. Either way, I've been riding this thing for an hour and a half looking for fish and everything is really, really scattered. Uh, I've been backing up a creek that way. I've been all up and down the channel, been in 70 foot. I marked some activity along this ledge in the 35 to 40 foot range. Uh, I may just suspend this area right here, slowly move up it. If nothing happens, we're going to look for warmer water in this larger creek back by this marina. Somewhere there's a concentration of fish. Now I am seeing a lot of what looks like scattered bait fish down off this ledge. I'm seeing more than that than I am big fish. Uh, but I did mark some what appear to be catfish on the screen. So this is our first stop. Sun's in the camera. The wind's gonna blow. That's usually how it goes during the Catfish Dave show. My butt's wet from that dag blasted seat. But we're gonna throw some catfish bait in the water and see if we can get a fish to eat. I've been experimenting with braided line. Uh, I seem to like it pretty well. For some things, like dragging right behind the boat, this time we're gonna try it on these suspended rods. I would not want to use it if I was just throwing outlines where the line was hitting the bottom. In that situation, I'm a mono guy. I also like mono when I'm dragging with the planer boards because those clips grab the mono a lot better. First week of February. We'll sit on this ledge a bit and I may slowly, slowly work up it. Something going on that rod there. Could have been some old gar playing with it. We ain't been here long, about five minutes. Y'all, we just got a flathead here in 48 degree water. I thought that looked like a flathead bite, and I'm like, now nah, it's too cold for that. That's a flathead. Sure enough, 
Oh. Cold water February flathead here. Yeah. Alright y'all, we got out here about lunchtime. I'm gonna have me egg salad sandwich. I don't get started too early this time of year. Too cold in the morning. Of course, I don't get an early start even in the summer, but. Mm-mm. Alright y'all, we started doing a controlled drift of the same area. It was getting kind of dead just sitting there. Just an old small Fort Loudon blue cat. Muddy old fish. I'm seeing some fish down there. Here again, we may be having a better bite if we had gizzard shad. Now the water temp saying it's 47. We'll give it a little bit. And we may go way up into this creek and try to find some warmer water. Another blue catfish. Oh. Still ain't got one big enough to need the net yet. Oh, ornery fish. Well, all right, Joe. One flathead sitting, two blue cats coming down a control drift. It's about a 200 yard area. I'm gonna put a dragon rod out and we're gonna head back up that same course. Won't take long to get there. I don't really want a drag coming down current because it, that current just kinda jacks everything up. But since we're going back up river now, I'm going to put this on. We're going to drag one behind the boat. They may prefer it dragging over suspending. Only one way to find out.
One on the dragon rig. All right, y'all, they all running about the same size. We're fixing to go try back in the creek, find some warmer water. Straighten out the other way, brother. You're already small. Oh well. Alright y'all, we're in this creek. Water tent's five degrees warmer. First fish old channel kit. There's a blue cat out of the creek. Here again, y'all, this water temp has rose almost five degrees in here. I'm not seeing the bait I want to see yet. Although there is some in here. Of course, we haven't worked our way back yet. blue catfish. Alright y'all, they seem to be a little easier to get in this creek than they were out in that channel considering the amount of time we've been in here. Another February blue cap, mud on it.
All right, y'all. Well, there went my bait. He's almost big enough to net. Oh, long fish. Best one in this creek so far, anyhow. You're always going to curl that tail towards you. I have no idea why they do that. All right, y'all, there's lots of birds back here, but they ain't doing much. They're pretty much just laying. I'm not seeing a ton of bait anywhere in this section of the river. Uh, I haven't been on Fort Loudon in a couple weeks, and the last place I went was not here. Next time I fish, I won't fish here. Uh, very scattered bait, very scattered. Found a little bit out there in the channel ledge, caught a few fish there. Caught a few fish in here, even with warmer water temps, uh, they're just not in here right now. February is not my favorite month to fish, never has been as far as bigger fish. I usually catch fish. Usually I don't start seeing my bigger fish till in March, but we gave it a go anyway. Even seen a flathead today. Either way, this is a video. There was fish in the video, that makes it a fishing video. This is Catfish Dave with another one. Signing out.